uh, starting with English and Spanish. At MetaConnect, CEO Mark Zuckerberg showed off their latest AI technology. Not only can users translate content, but now they can create content featuring themselves speaking in a different language. Poder conectar con personas y audiencias que hablen inglés. My native language is Spanish, but check it out, now I can also speak English through AI automatic dubbing. Through Meta's AI studio, creator and author Don Allen Stevenson showed how he's trained an AI to interact with his fans. Is being in nature and, and standing desk important for your creative process? Being in nature and using a standing desk is crucial for my creative process. It helps me think more clearly and come up with my best ideas. All right, I'm gonna to try to stump you with this one. Do you have any tips on cattle ranching? <laughs> I don't have any tips on cattle ranching. My expertise lies in technology and design, not agriculture. <laughs> Meta also showed how with new updates, it's Ray-Ban smart glasses can help you remember where you parked or make suggestions on what to wear for a party. It will see what you're seeing and then it will uh, convert that into an understanding in the AI and it will basically give you an answer relative to what you're doing. So again, you could take a picture of something and say meta, uh, hey meta, tell me about you know, what I'm looking at right now. And it will verbally tell that to you or maybe give you a recommendation or do things like setting reminders for something to do later. In dramatic fashion, Zuckerberg also introduced a prototype of what he called the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. Orion allows users to see the physical world with holograms laid over it. It's controlled by hand, eye, voice, and even more. I think that you need a device that allows you to you know, just send a signal from your brain to the device. So this isn't just the first full screen, like uh, you know, full wide field of view holographic AR glasses. This is also the first device that is powered by our wrist-based neural interface. What Meta's doing has basically boiled that down to a form factor that are much more like glasses, and they call them glasses. They're aiming to do full-on augmented reality. Meta also unveiled its new Quest 3 Mixed Reality VR headset, which comes in at just $300, with Zuckerberg emphasizing that he wants to bring mixed reality to everyone. That strategy is completely opposite that of Apple, whose high-end Vision Pro VR headset comes in at $3,500. Meta showed how a Quest 3 user will be able to connect with any Windows 11 PC and create larger or multiple virtual displays. The Quest 3 is one of the avenues for entering Meta's Horizon Worlds, which now has photorealistic environments that have been created by a user simply scanning their room with a phone. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.